In this week's video, we are in Chicago, Illinois, which is credited for the birth of the skyscraper, known to have started the modern craft cocktail revolution, and is home to Wrigley Field and the Chicago Cubs. Join us as we spend four days in the Windy City, enjoying the architectural splendor from a riverboat, marveling at the murals in the Pilsen neighborhood, spending time with friends, and saying goodbye to our formerly beloved Oakland Athletics. Oh, and of course, visiting yet another art museum. And we want to remind you that if you like this video, please subscribe, or there might be alternatives. <laughs> We're Zeke and Terry, empty nest midlife travel adventurers from the San Francisco Bay Area. After nearly getting divorced and rebooting our relationship, we decided to focus on our shared passion for travel and adventure. We launched this channel to inspire other empty nesters to get out, get dirty, and live this crazy thing called life by exploring places both near and far. Subscribe to our channel for more Zeke and Terry adventures. Good morning. We are leaving Milwaukee and going to Chicago today. And the first thing that's on our itinerary is to see the Oakland A's play the Chicago White Sox. And I believe there are donuts waiting for us in Chicago because you used to be a cop and Marty and Pam used to be cops and cops cannot resist donuts, retired or otherwise. <laughs> Made it. We made it to the White Sox and we're going inside to watch the A's. The game's already started. It'd still be a beautiful day for a baseball game. I think we're both these teams are in similar positions of having horrible seasons and the A's are moving. So I think we'll get some sympathy. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. I'm still a mass transit geek. That was outstanding. For like two blocks on our end, and it was the closest ballpark I've ever visited via mass transit. The only thing worse was that the A's lost now two games in a row to the White Sox, the worst team in baseball. It's my understanding, five o'clock, our cocktails at our friend's house. We're gonna sit outside. And we got a football uh, game. Dope Bears. Dope Bears. They're playing. So when in Rome, we're gonna be Bears fans. I was a Raiders fan until they left the first time in 1980 or whatever it was. No, I'd rather play a sport than watch a sport anyway. Good morning from Chicago. You ready for three action-packed days as we explore and try to do as much as possible in Chicago? Absolutely, and I didn't even bring my helmet. We are off to head down towards the Chicago Art Institute architectural tour on a boat of Chicago buildings, which we did a long time ago, but it's time to do it again because everybody has suggested that we do it. Uh, rooftop bar, and we've got to get back in time to go watch the A's lose to the Cubs tonight. <laughs> How hopeful we are. It's postcard time. If you are not subscribed to our mailing list at zekanterry.com, you are missing out on some really cute postcards designed by women, mostly. Uh, currently from Madison and Milwaukee, but we're gonna head out and find some in Chicago. So zekanterry.com, we will send you virtual postcards from the road, as well as physical ones, as long as we have your mailing address. So sign up now. We've already been told we can't go into the members cafe and not to carry a selfie stick.
as you can see behind us, the Art Institute of Chicago. It's on the big side of museums. And if you're like me and the crowds start to get in your way of enjoying the overall art, then get here early, I guess, and plan to get out before the crowds really swamp this place. Uh, it got pretty busy today. It is a big collection of art. It's also a little bit disjointed in terms of how you move through the yeah. different areas. We got off to the wrong start. We, we, we spent way too much time in areas that were not really of our main interest down on the main floor. We got a little bit lost and then we ended up having a cup of coffee and a snack and then figuring out we wanted to be near the architecture, design and architecture stuff, the impressionist, the modern stuff, and by the time we got to the point where we were in the middle of the Impressionist stuff, you maxed out, which means we didn't even get near the European art. We didn't see the Asian art. There was a lot that we didn't see. Good news is we are going to be back. got off the architecture boat tour put on by the Architecture Foundation, I think it is. Part nonprofit. Uh, it was really great. It was 90 minutes long. Um, aside from a little too much sun for some of our photographs, it was absolutely perfect. I couldn't take notes fast enough, sent pictures off to our son Adam, going asking him if he was applying to any grad schools here because I think he would love it here. Great uh, stories as well about the history of the area and changing the direction of the river and how it's uh, Over a hundred years ago. Right, how the water quality is improved from toxic to polluted and uh, it was just a lot of fun. Yeah, we learned about the different types of buildings, uh, the Beaux-Arts, the Art Deco, the mid-century modern, the post-modern. We love history lessons, especially when they're tied to amazing art or architecture. But now we are gonna to try to squeeze in two more things on our way back to dinner with our friends before we go to the ball game. So let's go. Gotta go. Cocktail hour at Cindy's at the top of the Chicago Athletic Club with a spectacular view of Millennium Park and Lake Michigan. Even seasoned travelers need a break sometimes, and on day three, Zeke needed some time off camera to recharge, but that didn't stop us from exploring more of Chicago. Taking this afternoon off helped us both enjoy the rest of our trip even more. Remember, it's okay to take breaks during your travels, as difficult as it is for me to say that. <laughs> It's Wednesday and we are off to the Pilsen neighborhood in Chicago with our friends. The neighborhood has the largest amount of Mexican art in the country, I, I believe. I think so. I think that's what we saw in the United Hemispheres right. uh, magazine. And it also has a series of murals. And if you watched our San Francisco Nostalgia video where we walked through the mission in San Francisco, you'll notice that we kind of like murals, which is our last full day in Chicago, which makes us a little sad because we are having a fantastic time and our friends are getting closer and closer to getting us to consider moving here, or at least spending more time.
enjoyed seeing all the murals in Pilsen and we had a really great brunch at Frida Room. It's not Frida's room, but Frida Room. And now we are getting ready to go to the National Museum of Mexican Art. And it uh, feels a little bit like the mission in the Midwest. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. The murals have been incredible. Now we're gonna go see some Mexican art. Was a perfectly sized museum with absolutely beautiful beautiful art and history and culture there's a special exhibition by delilah montoya who did a photographic series on a dna um, study on 16 casts within uh, mexico and you scanned a qr code and you could listen to the first person stories of some of the individuals in the actual photographs uh, shiny object, I see another <laughs> mural behind us, but our friends are waiting for us in the air-conditioned car because it's a little warm today. And that's just about a wrap for our trip to the Midwest, to Chicago, Madison, and Milwaukee. We are just about ready to get onto our United flight back to San Francisco. And from what we've heard, we had some exceptional weather, so we are thankful for that. Special thanks to our friends, Marty and Pam, for hosting us the last couple of days uh, and making it so that it's really hard not to consider A, spending more time in Chicago, and B, potentially moving here. So we are back in San Francisco. After several hours of delay, uh, plane change and gate changes, several gate changes. We got the fog, we got the 62 degree weather. I've got my puffy on. I've never been told to get off of a plane to get onto another plane. That was the first time I've deplaned. So I'm happy to be home, how about you? I'll be happy to be home and I'll be happy when, we, when George is delivered tomorrow and I have my dog back.